All right, I have a little bit of a issue trying to film this. So, but this is my review for Unhinged 2020. Uh, there will be spoilers ahead. This is a, I guess you'd call it indie film. Uh, I guess you could, or sides film. But it stars Russell Crowe and uh, Karen F Fizisera. Uh, I can't pronounce her last name. Um, I haven't seen her in anything. I looked, and she's a new-ish actress who's young, and it's only been a small uh, uh, four films. And uh, let me little count on my my fingers. But the last film I seen uh, Russell Crowe in is Nice Guy, 2016. Um, I I did a review on it, and I'm not going to get into the whole. Keep going into my early reviews from last year. Obviously, suck. And there's obviously going to be a point where I'm just not going to care anymore about to mention that because I'm so used to my new setup and all that stuff. Of you know, you you go from one spot to another of, uh, you know, work up to getting more better quality. And uh, that's what I want for you guys. And I just want that um, as a whole. Because um, I care about my stuff. Uh, I really do. And there's been some issues medical wise and there's been that today. Uh, but you don't care about that. Uh, about this movie is, I saw it through Echo Mod's uh, reaction to it. I didn't really know about it. I thought, and I'll check this out, see if I can do a review on it. I thought it was, it, it was just going to be a... You know, a, a typical... You take a, a, a road rage incident and you draw it out farther than it should be. Uh, just your typical real world stuff, except it's a little bit drawn out. Um, and um, I, I, it wasn't like that. It was actually far more stretched out. They, for thriller reasons, obviously they they dramatized the whole thing, and uh, even the the kills and stuff were just um, well, not the kills, but a couple of the car crashes slash kills, which were together. Uh, we're definitely the physics were were off pretty much, and him hitting the car or her hitting the car, and it flipped over. Um, obviously dramatic, but that's not necessarily always a big deal. Um, it is a Hollywood film, and they do all that. I have always done that, um, but they took this and they rode with it. But they they rode with it like with steroids put into it because it, it's like extremely dramatized. It's not even just in the car. He goes on this rampage at first for a, I must say, a very stupid reason. That's not what I thought. I thought this was going to be he, the typical, uh, he gets cut off and he gets pissed off. And then you see in the trailer, he asks for apology and she doesn't do it. Um, no, she led on her horn the whole time behind him. And then he pulls up beside her as they're in a traffic jam and have a conversation with him. And I immediately just saw, like, I mean, I immediately went to his side for a while until it got really, really intense, uh, you know, of, I, I mean, not intense, but extreme with him, of, of his emotions, because he goes on and starts killing uh, his, her people she knows, and, uh, you know, this punk in her, and it's obviously on the extreme. Um, but... Why I started going towards his character, uh, his side of it, is because she was, uh, how do I say this without saying it, the word? Yeah, I mean, she was, she was like flat out being that uh, the whole time of this conversation. And I was just like, wow. You, you want to talk about being clueless about uh, of what not to do and what not to say this whole time. They talked about it. They had a thing at the end where uh, she got cut off and um, she didn't honk the horn. And the kid said, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, it wasn't the horn um, the lady that, that, that did it. It was the it was way you were you're coming off and acting the whole time. Uh, you should have just said sorry. But, you know, that's just me. But what do I know? Um, yeah, I mean, and there was, he was definitely a, uh, uh, 
yeah, a, a, a very psychotic person. He was definitely like on, on the extreme of uh, mental ill. This wasn't like some anger, rage type of thing. Obviously, he was he was definitely very mentally ill. And they talk about this, and they talk about the road rages, and they talk about uh, people on their phones and people going nuts with divorces and stuff. Obviously, hinting at stuff's going on to the later in the film but they, that's how they opened with it uh speaking of the open uh, it was definitely a little bit s slow and i was but bored into the lead up of it they kind of stretched that a little too much but then as soon as they get into it i was really into the story uh definitely was wasn't necessarily bored um I mean, it, it was really good. It was really good. I actually was really surprised at how, well, not really, really surprised, but somewhat surprised at how good it was because I didn't know what I was going into. Um, it, it kept you wondering what was going to go happen next. And, uh, you know, his death, I wasn't necessarily 100% happy about. Um, how it happened, I thought it would be more dramatic. Well, it was kind of dramatic now that I think about it. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, I don't know. It's something about it wasn't, I wasn't satisfied with it. Uh, but he was, he was definitely mean as hell. He was mean. It's definitely a Russell Crowe type of thing. Uh, uh, his acting and his sustain, his way he looks and his, his, his way of acting is just always badass and stuff. So, but I, I've gone on long enough and, um, I got pretty much all I can say, um, I strongly recommend you check out this movie. I definitely would say a 5 out of 5 um, axes. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, but um, yeah, please like and subscribe. And uh, I do not at all know what I'll be having out on uh, hopefully Wednesday. Um, so I can see what's coming out and what's new. And maybe it'll be something that's old. I don't know. Love you. And uh, I'll stay safe. Uh, Hope uh, you're all doing good. Let's go.